Today I just wanted to talk about my relationship with my parents. Um, for those of you that saw the documentary, um, you know, you, you understand that it necessarily wasn't the best and that neither my mom nor my dad um, took the news of me being transgender very well. And I think that's the case with a lot of trans people. It's, you know, very difficult for families, especially when they didn't expect that or didn't see it coming. And that was uh, definitely the case for me and my family. And uh, initially, um, my dad took it very hard and uh, basically said that in more or less that if I transitioned that he wouldn't be part of my life and um, I think his exact words were if I showed up with boobs and long hair he was going to go the other way and um, my mom described it as as if I had died um, so <laughs> not really what I wanted to hear and I'm sure with any um, child wants to hear from their parents but unfortunately a lot of us um, deal with things like this and and you know the initial reactions are kind of a gut feeling and what they felt and I was glad that they were honest about it and um, you know it was the first time I really heard them open up about it and it was nice to at least know you know how they were feeling and what they thought and uh, you know since then things have gotten a little better um, it's been rough at times um, my mom you know I wasn't invited to like family Thanksgiving and Christmases for a few years and um, so that was you know tough to deal with and I think a lot of people go through the same thing and um, you know, not feeling welcome in their own family and, and sometimes just not being welcome. But uh, fortunately, um, I was invited to my mom's Thanksgiving, so that was nice and spent some time with her and my stepdad and um, my sons and, and uh, my brother and, and his, uh, my niece and nephew, which, so that was really nice. And uh, so that's definitely a step in the right direction. I mean, she's kind of coming around. Um, you know, hopefully they'll be in the future, it's going to be like full acceptance. Um, it's still a little tough for her, which I understand, and coming from a small town and um, rural area, you know, this is something that people don't see every day and don't deal with, and uh, I, you know, try to keep in mind that with her upbringing and where she comes from, uh, this is a little more challenging. It's not something that's talked about much or seen much, and, um, you know, I try to keep those things in perspective. Um, with my dad, the same thing. I mean, we're all from a very small town and kind of a, with a... Um, conservative um, you know feel about everything and and um, my dad did uh, last year did come to a Christmas dinner that I held at my house and um, where I looked a lot just like this and that was the first time he'd really see me that way and and everything went fine he took a little <laughs> a little convincing to get him in the house initially uh, my two oldest sons Logan and Garrett had to go out and talk to him and convince him to come in and and because uh, initially when he found out that you know I was going to be presenting this way. He was a little uncomfortable with that, but he got over it and dinner was fine and we had a good time and and uh, I mean it's still a work in progress, but uh, I think things are going the right direction and and I just want to let everybody know that's um, watching this if you're in a similar situation, you know sometimes it just takes time. Um, sometimes they come around, they just need the time to adjust and understand and keeping open lines of communication is very important. Um, I try to be very open and answer any questions they have and and I try not to be offended. I mean, if it's a question that can come across the wrong way and just realize, you know, if they're coming, you know, if it's coming from the heart, they're just trying to understand and sometimes they're expressing their own pain and their own hurt. And, um, you know, but to give things time, be patient and, uh, you know, hopefully they'll come around. I mean, in some cases that doesn't always happen, but we can hope for the best. And in a lot of cases, um, the relationship in the end ends up being even closer and even tighter. And that's what I hope for eventually. And, and I hope the same for all of you. Thank mm -hmm. you.